Hey, hey, good morning, everyone from Thailand. And it's good evening to you on the other side of the world. I want to continue on my book, Start to Live. It's, I didn't write it. It's written by Clearwater, a Native American, uh, sorry, <laughs> Native Australian uh, who uh, touches the earth and has words of wisdom that I love and I live into, uh, I've been living into for many years. So when I found this book, it's kind of like a mirror of the way I think and the way I live. So uh, I want to share that um, from two perspectives, my perspective and Clearwater's. And in this episode seven, it starts out with speak to the great spirit. And I often say, I'm just the captain. I always look above and let the admiral or the universe or God guide me at all times because uh, there's a little story running my company uh, many years ago and, and my VP said to me, he says, Peter, I don't know how you do this. You don't have a written budget because my company grew so fast and I really built it in my head and I, well, I have this skill and I'll leave it at that. And so he goes to me, we had 30 something people at the time, maybe 34 people working and uh, it was like 90 something, 98, I think. Yes. And he brought in the uh, the report, the annual report, financial report. And uh, he said, how do you do this? How do you run this all, you know, without that, without that plan in front of you? Well, somebody's got a plan bigger than me. And uh, so I have a unending faith that uh, when I take an action, I'll get a result. The result will take care of finance, will take care of challenges. Uh, will c the answers always come? So speak in silence. Take your time and, and speak to the great spirit. As Clearwater says, speak words of love. And when I started doing that, like I had a big challenge with love. <laughs> and then I realized, you know, when you start loving yourself and you're grateful, then that starts reflecting out. You see it in others and you start to feel it. And there's like this uh, cycling back and forth. And, and it's so at this point in my life, I like see love in everything, which to me, uh, it's just magical, and that's the way I live through my day. I, I see and I smile because I think it's important to to, to get people uh, pulled out of themselves. Sometimes they're so connected, so deep into them own their own. You can see it on their face. They're just totally occupied with something that may not be uplifting. So I find it my job to break that, to interrupt that, and whatever it takes, a left hook, a right hook, slap on the face, kick in the butt. <laughs> But we've got to do our job in life and take that love and that gratitude and, first of all, use it ourselves, then start to share it. And as we move down the page here, uh, speak to the Great Spirit, speak words of love and gratitude. Place not one morsel upon your tongue nor one stick upon your fires without giving thanks, for they are the gifts of my children, says the Great Spirit. Those are the unseen gifts, and in a world that is focused on the things uh, and it's turning, uh, I, I believe, uh, to, to awaken uh, who we are, what we are, and what we really um, are here to focus on, love and gratitude. So I just start from the top. 
speak to the <clears throat> speak to the great spirit speak words of love and gratitude place not one morsel upon your tongue nor one stick upon your fires without giving thanks for they are the gifts of love my children so we're always looking for more we're looking out looking for answers so uh, all of us are uh, looking we look up we look out sometimes we look down but that's not really the place to be looking uh, in contemplation perhaps uh, so that's it that's number seven episode of start to live and tomorrow uh, episode eight is just so cool i mean it's really fitting for the times it's all this whole book is fitting for life it doesn't matter what the times are but tomorrow is particularly uh interesting and it and it carries a huge huge level of protection when you use it properly use it properly as a tool and it's it's not an easy task but when it's implemented and practiced and implemented and practiced then life peels back the joy happiness and um, wisdom starts to show up to give you the life that you really want to be living I can only attest to it firsthand Peter Stone saying have a wonderful evening, morning, or day, wherever you are on this planet.